Welcome back guys to our channel. Today we are doing a Frequently Asked Friday and everyone has been asking us why did we not take our van to Burning Man. So we are going to show you what we do bring to Burning Man. We have a yurt. Um, this is our seventh year going. So we kind of know what we're in for dust wise and we don't want to take our home to Burning Man just because we we want to come back to it and we want it to be clean and we want it to be our home. So we're taking our yurt and we're going to take you with us and give you a yurt tour. All right, so we're the first people here to arrive for our camp and we're going to start unloading this box van. This is where we store all of our Burning Man stuff. We're so lucky that we have an awesome camp leader that lets us do that. So let's go check it out. So we pulled all that stuff out get to our yurts. Here's a pile of some of our camp night yurts. And here is Kevin over here working on ours. There is I'm not sure over this. So what Kevin's doing right now is ripping off all the tape from last year and then we're gonna retape it. Because some of these edges here without blinding you. Some of these edges here um, have foam underneath them so they will move all over the playa, which is not cool. Danny is cleaning the edges of the yurt, as you can see. With some vinegar and water to get After that alkaline dust. After six years, they're pretty damaged. So we're getting vinegar and water on the edges, and we're gonna use some duct taping to kind of clean all this up. And I'll go down the rundown of how a hexa year works. But at the moment, we're just giving it a good cleanup. And here's what we're dealing with here. What's the deal with the center? Ground zero happy hour. What's the deal with these centers? Are we ripping them off and taking no. them? All right, so the yurt is all cleaned up and packed up. I'll show you what we did. We just added some of this foil tape to the problematic areas. But how the yurt is made is you're gonna need, so how the yurt is made is you need 12 of these four by eight R-Max sheets. And what you do is when you get them, you keep six full, because those are going to be your sides. And then with the other ones, you're gonna diagonally cut all the way across. And those are gonna be your triangle pieces and then what you want to do with that is after you make the cuts and you're going to want to wrap all the yurts with this flex tape this flex fix so i would recommend going two or three strips deep because the yurt tape goes on top and it rips all the foil off if you can see that so if you go with this flex fix and you do a better wrap all the way around all the edges, it really helps demoop and it really helps keep the uh, panels intact. My buddy Hector has three wide on the tape and his yurt needed much less maintenance. So what we did was we just kind of fixed them all up. Some look worse than others but it's just burning man and these are the so what you do with the triangle pieces is I'll pull it out once you cut the diagonals you're going to want to get some yurt tape I'll have the link in the bio and you're going to just throw down one strip of yurt tape so this is just one panel cut diagonally then you Obviously you put all the tape around it and then you're going to get your bifilament ear tape and you're going to put it down the center and then you fold it in half and that's basically what it would look like cut in half. So you do, so you do six sheets cut diagonally and then you do six sheets not cut. So this is how I pack it up, and we will assemble it at Burning Man, so you get to see that. Okay 
guys, welcome to uh, Van Coogs here on the playa. Uh, like we said, we weren't bringing our van, so I figured we'd show you our humble abode for the week. It's a uh, hexa yurt made out of R-Max panels. It takes six total to do the sides and six to do the roof. So I'll just kind of show you guys how we set it up. Um, we got basically everything in bins. So starting off here, we just do all of our dry food storage. So we got all kinds of snacks in there. Uh, we use these baskets to kind of make some shelving. So we got the mixers in there. We got the booze over here. Got a chair coming around. More cans. Another chair here. We use these Reliance six gallon with the spigot on top. It makes it a lot easier to fill up water every day. Uh, so we got three coolers total. One actually plugs in to the generator power and it has a fan here. It's a fan cooled cooler and it kind of sucks in the AC. We got the AC powered by the Predator 3500. I got a review on that already. Um, all the power here, charging this. We got a USB light bulb. This is a new addition. This is pretty awesome. Over here, um, we got our cots. So we have two Coleman cots and then we kind of push them to the side so we can have the underbed storage. So we got everything in our bins. So here, this is all we just got here, it's all clean. So we got basically bins, inside of bins. Bike tubes, health and cleaning, glasses. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. And everything's inside of Ziploc bags, inside of each bin. Bike tubes, pretty mandatory out here. Uh, always the baby wipes and the baby wipe shower. All right. Anyways, moving on. We have our tapestries here, uh, jackets. This is my bin. I just have all the clothes in one bin. Makes it easy. Get everything. Throw it on top pass out. Next, over here, this is Danny's in. She has the same setup. Bins inside of bins. Bike lights. Li bike lights, lights. Ziploc bags are important. Put things inside of it. Um, more bins with more things. So it seems to be bins and stuff bag so it stays pretty nice same deal here all of Danny's clothes just in a bin put under the bed and that's and it did we show that we have AC oh yeah we have the AC running we have in a here 5000 BTU AC unit and it keeps it very nice and cool in here it stays about 70 degrees inside the yurt it's insulated so it works out well we also have a little uh, plastic ikea rug down and this is kind of just an additional dust rug uh, i don't know i don't want to go in too much because it's not too crazy but yeah this is the yurt we'll show it from the outside this now i guess stayed. yeah we'll show it from the outside all right let's go <laughs> They look like from the outside. These are our neighbors. Yurt City. We got a whole bunch of them. And some over there. Then we made the uh, door here out of particle board. And it has actually a piece on the inside as well. 
and we put a latch with the lock on it. The one problem is now we're going to have it insulated behind the door here. The only problem is it's difficult to get in. Tall people. But once you're in and you're up, there's quite a bit of room. It's definitely better than a tent and it's definitely better than the van. So we're stoked we once again built the yurt. Uh, as always guys, thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe if you like this and we'll continue the journey. Yeah.